guys and welcome back so we have seen caesar's interview with the breakfast club that video was uploaded before this video and i gave my opinions on that one this time i want to give my opinion on the interview they did with duchess okay my opinion out of the gate is i believe 50 percent of what duchess said and i'm gonna tell you why i believe 50 percent of what duchess said First off, I believe every, pretty much well everything she said about production, like production staging the show. Um, they had one of the producers sitting in the car, fake kissing uh, Caesar. I believe that. I believe um, everything about the production wanting to give her her own spinoff. I believe everything about the production stuff that she said. Okay. Um, she said something, okay, the part when she was talking about um, production wanting to have Sky's son come down to Pretty and Eat. Let me tell you where, where I'm going to call a BS on this set because you, she could have said no. It's a thousand places they could have had uh, um, their little interview at. They did not have to have that at her place. If she not even part of the crew, the cast, or nothing, they didn't have to have that interview at Pretty and in Ink. So I'm gonna call BS on that. So that's why I say I believe 50% of well, everything she, she said. She in her didn't interview. get upset about the girl saying that she was uh that Seeds was pregnant by her. Okay, you did get upset. What'd you break the laptop break the computer for? So another lie. She said that on one of her lease on on the lease when they showed the air mattress that um they didn't say C's cousin was there sleeping on the air mattress. It basically made it look like they didn't have furniture and was sleeping on the air mattress. I believe that part. But they showed her in their apartment once before when she was on that computer. Did she forget about that episode? I don't remember if it was season five or season four. But she was on that very computer that she broke working her um on the computer whatever another lie they've showed inside that house before that apartment or something before because they had all them shoes lined up on the wall so that's what i'm saying you can't believe everything she say because it's it even though she brought all these receipts at the same time some of the stuff you saying ain't really true the whole situation with sky's son she if, unless she's giving birth or been through what Sky been through, she don't need to be commenting on stuff because she trying to drag Sky and say Sky was out there with the boy night. Sky said she wasn't even in a place to be a good mother to see about her kids mentally or financially, basic or basically physically. She was waiting till the right opportunity to be in that place where she could have herself ready. Sky has self-esteem issues. If you watch the show, she'll she'll tell you that. She said she wanted to work on herself and get her mind and herself right before she reached out to her boys. She did attempt to reach out to them boys a couple of times on the show, and they showed it. Now, they're just trying to say that was all for the cameras. I personally don't believe it was all for the cameras. I do believe they've done some things for drama, but I don't believe that was all for the cameras. I believe that time when she said she had twin boys, this was, she did say that at the beginning. That was back before she started getting checks. That's back before she was really, she knew she was going to be a permanent cast member. I think she did tell some lies, but she went back. I remember her going back correctly and saying her oldest son and referencing as her younger son and her oldest son. That's after she became a actual cast member because before she was just there because she was seeing like Teddy. And then when she came in seeing Teddy, she was such a hit. We liked her so much. We tweeted about it. We talked about it. That's what gets you on permanently. And that's what brought her in. And it went from there. And then we seen, I think she actually became a cast member by season four or five, may, five maybe. But anyway, something else Duchess said that that's a lie when they asked her about the pictures on the computer did y'all see she started talking about her lease 
the lease for the apartment about them not recording in there. She did not address the new pictures on there. She see how she does, how she manipulates things. She took it off herself and manipulated it back to something else. This is the stuff she did on the show. She did this the same thing on the show when she was doing all that fake crying and stuff. So I believe some of the stuff on the show was true and I believe some of it was fake. All the stuff was she took stuff off herself and reflected it towards something else so it wouldn't be on her. I believe it was real and it wasn't scripted. And the reason being, she did it right there in that interview for all of us to see. We all just saw it. I Like I said, I believe the production has did a couple of things that wasn't right. Then now she's trying to say, because Caesar cussed his mom and cussed her and cussed his baby mama, that he hit her. But she didn't want to tell the police. Do y'all believe that? I want y'all opinion on Do y'all believe that? I know people that cuss their moms, they wives, and baby mamas, but they not physically abusive. They may cuss them out if they in the argument, but they don't go around randomly being verbally abusive. It's an argument. They say some cuss words. The mama cuss them back. The baby mama cuss them back. The girlfriend cuss them back. Whatever it is. It don't make them physically abusive. Do y'all believe that? I want y'all opinion on Y'all tell me y'all opinion. If y'all think that Caesar was being abusive toward her. Okay. Now, one thing she did say was about Pretty in Ink. She said she don't even own Pretty in Ink. It's the LLC. Okay. You talking about Skyline and Caesar line. You lying because all last... Um, season, you don't went on about how it's yours and you own your own shop and you finally got your own shop. It's your shop. Pretty in ink is your baby. It's finally yours. You're so happy. It's the happiest you ever be. But now you telling us that you don't even own it. This is the thing. If you're going to be calling out everybody else on their lives, you need to call out yourself on your own lies and clear up your own lies. You can't be pay, uh, play tit for tat and nitpick and go back and try to take shots if you're not going to um, tell, tell your own truth. And I'm going to tell you, Caesar hasn't been saying anything bad about you. You pick, you found one thing that you could use against him because he hadn't been talking bad about you. Something else I want to bring up on this season, they sent a telegram in there talking about Duchess won't have. I do believe that was production. I do agree with Duchess on that part because it don't make sense about her wanting half. And what she said about her wanting half, she ain't even been married to see. She got a ring back. We saw all of that. And I did forget about that part. And she did. And so... And even she said she she got anybody with sense no she can't ask for half so that's production doing that and saying it I agree with her on that but like I said it's fifty fifty I can't believe everything she Duchess did. really should have watched what she said about Sky being a mom what you said about Sky comes back around then she was saying something about Sky's son being in the, in a detention center last night the adoptive mom said. When he turned 18, uh, that, that he was all, you know, wanting to meet Sky, understood the situation, and they felt like when he turned 18, of course, at 18, you consider grown, and the biological dad wants the son to come stay. He wanted to go stay with the bi biological dad, and they thinking, you know, it wasn't anything wrong with it. It wasn't a bad idea. My question is, when was he in the detention center See. She leaves that part out. She says, well, his, uh, she said he had this life and that life. How does Duchess know he didn't have a good life? Because I need this cleared up. Was he brought up good and decent? Then when he turned 18, he wanted to go out there, do whatever. And then he ended up in a detention center. And then at, he was there for a year after he turned 18. Then he got out. Or when he turned 17, was he acting up and got put in the de detention center? Was, has he been bad since he was a baby? See, Dutch is leaving all of that out because Sky did say she gave him up so they could have a better life. How does Duchess know he did not have a decent life 
up until he got older when he got rebellious because some people do it don't matter how you raise them what you do for them they get rebellious how does she know it was he didn't start it when Sky got on the show. She don't know that. If she don't know that, she don't need to be talking that. See, I don't like for the for these itches to go out here and be talking stuff about kids like they done had their own and raised their own. Because, see, I'm a mom. I ain't been through none of the stuff Sky been through. But at the same time, for, for, for moms out here, if you ain't raised a kid, keep your mouth shut. Because sometimes, no matter what... Even though they didn't grow up with Sky and they was in a home and Sky had good intentions when she put him in the home, Sky didn't have control over the foster parents either. And apparently they did something right because the other brother is fine. You cannot say every kid going to come out perfect. So she need to shut the up. Uh, I'm trying not to cuss. Shut up about that. She don't know what she's talking about. So see, that's something else. That's, ugh. She didn't always did that. She did that kind of stuff on the show. But that's okay. Because what comes around, what goes around, comes around. All that she talking about Sky and her kids, that she don't know what she talking about, going to come back on her tenfold. So when she give birth and she have a kid, they going to put her through it. Because she going to get her just deserved. You can't be doing that. You can't be, can't be saying bad stuff about people like that concerning their kids and expect you not to get it back. <laughs> Wait till yours get here, baby girl. You gonna, you think you mother of the year, you gonna be the best mommy, don't matter how you raise them. When they get with the wrong group, no matter what you try to do, they go their own way, no matter how you try to, if they get in trouble, sometimes it don't reflect on how they was raised, even if Sky didn't raise them. Okay, so then it's the situation with Sky and Duchess's mom. Because Sky cussed Duchess's mom out because Duchess's mom was posting posts and, about cheating men and whatnot. And Sky thought it was in reference to Caesar. But in in reality, it was in reference to her own husband. Because they found out he had a baby, you know, that he had had since they had been married. Now, see, this is what I'm saying. Duchess, you going around talking about how perfect you are and how perfect you was raised. They, your mom and them have an issue. Now, you just, just said two seconds ago, uh, you was saying stuff about people that don't have a mom, don't have a mom and a dad that's married. They don't know. They don't understand. Blah, blah. See, you talking out the side of your neck. You, you, you throwing shots at a bunch of people here. And see, then now you go to say, that your mom was mad about that. And that's just going on about uh Sky uh can't be calling Caesar her brother because that ain't her brother. Now you you the one sitting here hollering claiming you from the south. Everybody know from the south we call everybody our sister or brother, especially if we like super close and that's our best friend or whatever. But then Sky can't say it, but then yet yeah, you say it, you can do whatever you want to do. That's this that's what I'm saying about Duchess. She's so full of it. Like, she always want to sit out and call herself getting everybody else together when she be the, she be stay just, I don't know if you said contradicting herself or lying, because she do both. Then Duchess has nerve to say, you said children should be off limits. Parents should be off limits too. Well, if you wanted your parents to be off limits, you should have kept kids off limits because you have yet to keep kids off limits from day one. You've been on people kids ever since the first season of the show. You always on people kids. For somebody that ain't got no kids, you always act like you know so much about them and so much about raising them. You need to shut your mouth up about folks' kids. You gonna mess around, and I I don't condone violence, but the stuff she be trying to pull. And she be saying about people, kids gonna get a get gonna get a molly whop. She best watch that. She thinks she untouchable. And when somebody roll up ready to put them one put them paws on her, then she gonna be talking about she gonna sue you. Now you done heard her say she don't fight, but y'all see what she did to Miss Kitty. <laughs> she gonna try to make son run, old punk ass. She gonna throw shade at Sky until uh. Sky and you met your daddy and he still don't want to have too much to do uh to do with you. She always taking but low the belt shots at people and I'm gonna tell you she has taken lower shots at people that people have taken at her on the show. 
So, Sky was wrong for going off on, on the girl mama when she didn't know what was going on. I'm thinking it was directed at Caesar. She was wrong about that. But Dutch is wrong about a lot of stuff she's saying too and that she started saying before they started taking shots because she, they were saying what they didn't like about Duchess. When they were saying what they didn't like about Duchess, Duchess started talking about them and their kids. So that's that's a whole new ball game. What she should have been saying is what she don't like about them instead of going after their kids. So what she did is uh, when anytime you say something she did wrong, that's what she do. How she want to hurt you is talk about stuff that's deep and the most endearing thing to you. That's how she do. But she she always on the sh now. I'm going by what's on the show and in interviews like this. She always dishing what she can't take. And see, she been dishing about this girl kids now. When they say something about your mama, okay, she want everybody in the world. Yeah, sympathy for her mama, cause thousands of people. What? How? How did she say it? Hit, hitting her up about her husband having a asset child in the relationship. Well, your daughter Duchess done glorify how perfect your marriage is, and all of this, and and everybody else such a horrible parent and everything. So what she got to say about her own daddy? She done went on and drug everybody else parenting skills and being a good husband and wife and how perfect the happy home is. So now what? You don't see her saying nothing about her own daddy. Duchess goes go on to say that Sky was always there with her breast out and she was. I do not think that was very ladylike. I do not think that was very professional. Just like I don't think it was very professional for Duchess to be in there with any kind of low cut shirt on or no booty shorts on but she dressed just like everybody else she was in there with a short dress on like the rest of them she may not have her breasts all the way pooped out but she wore revealing stuff like everybody else did she wore her little you know like i just said booty shorts so stop taking shots because you're not completely innocent and stuff if you was on on there you know never dressed in a provocative way then then it would be different. But you've been dressed provocative before too. So you went out with you. Like I said, Sky was just with her. She was just free free wheeling it with the boobs. Just plump, plump. I mean, and that was not the right thing to do. I'm sure Sky noticed at this point. But the situation, and, and when she'll say this kind of stuff, and then she'll bring back up something about Sky's son. Sky going to have to sit down and talk to her son. They need to handle that. They need to get on the same page and same accord. Because somebody, either way it go, has gotten that boy head and twisted it against her. She ain't never said she was a saint. She ain't never pretended to be a saint. She did some she did some stuff for purposes to get out there. She what she did tell some lies with production. She did what she had to do to get about this check, to get about these coins. Since he's so worried about, you know, if if she how much money she had and if she was able and if she was making it. She did she had to do that just so she could have that money to provide because we just learned that's how it goes. That's what you have to do in this reality TV world to get out there, to get ahead, to be on the show. You got to create this drama. It's like working on a sitcom. It's scripted. She played a part. She's getting the coins. But she still needs to sit down and talk to him about it, see what's going on in life and how he changed. I'm sure she done talked to the foster mom and then something else. Duchess need to shut up about when they, when they was talking about the boy turning 18 about the adoption part because when you because I was I did the foster mom thing a long time ago when a child turns 18 they're considered grown so the adoption thing 
they can do what they want to. All you can do is pray and hope that they still want you to help them and be a part of their life. But like Sky's son, he decided, okay, I'm grown now. I can go do what I want to do. He didn't want to live with the, the people anymore. He had something else in his mind. You can't hold that against Sky. That's on him, not on Sky. I, I know Duchess don't comprehend and understand that because she you she needs she not about that life. She ain't experienced that. Duchess, I just I'm trying not to get too in my feelings and get hyped up. If I get hyped up this time of the night, I won't be able to sleep. Cause like I said, fifty percent of what just Duchess said is true. Fifty percent is BS. Congratulations, Duchess, on all your funeral home, your funeral home, your boutique in the mall. You finna open another pretty and eat in Virginia. Congratulations about that. It's good that your business is doing well. Even though Black Ink was the platform to help Pretty and Ink be successful, you need to go on and get credit where credit is due because it is. Because it, it wouldn't have been as, as successful if you wasn't Duchess of Ink as in related to the Black Ink crew. But anyway, hope everything gets worked out with your mom and dad and everything. But like I said, I do not see her and C's being completely over. They say it is, but... He has said he, he still loves her. He still cares about her. He didn't drag her in no negative way like she did him. So, I don't know. I say it, it may not be in season six, but maybe by season eight, we they could be talking again. You don't never know. But anyway, that's all I'm going to say right now because I, I, I don't want to say too much. I'm trying not to be rude and I'm trying not to cuss. And I will see y'all in the next preview review be sure to hit that bell notification down here at the bottom so y'all can see when i upload again and i'll see you thanks for watching